my dear, dear friends. It's Friday, 20 to eight at night. I should be in the club. I should be in a bar with my friends. I should be at the cinema. I should be at having dinner somewhere. I should be doing a lot of stuff because I'm young and fresh, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm at home in my flat alone and sad. <laughs> <laughs> I decided something just now, just suddenly. Girl, this is an opportunity to do what you want to do. Do something that'll make you feel better. And you know what that is? Period dramas. And if you don't know what that is, it's dramas about a certain historical period. It's not about people on their period. It's about historical periods. <laughs> Why am I explaining it? It's films and shows set in olden times, man. Number one on the list is Emma, the 2020 Emma version. I've not seen it yet and it's been on my list for a while. So I'm so excited to do it. And I thought you could join me and you could be my friends for the night. There's a few things I have to do before I can get into the film. Number one, change from my work. Chill out clothes into bougie pajamas. Hello? Who's on the phone? Oh, TikTok's calling because that was such a cool transition. <laughs> Number two, snacks. So because I'm watching period dramas, I decided to make tea. The tea I'm making is Christmas tea and it says Focus, motherfucker. Anyway, it's called Be Cool. And if that ain't me, ooh. on top of that, I'm having this bougie chocolate mousse. <laughs> What am I doing? Number three, I miss my friends. This is the highlight. It's a long ass water bottle. Pew, pew, pew. After studying in Scotland, if there's one thing I can do, fill hot water bottles when very drunk, which I'm not now, but maybe I should be. This is where the magic will happen. I've been excited to see this, oh my God, to see this film for so long. Um, I was originally gonna see it in cinemas in February, 2020. You know what happened? I love Jane Austen. And I've seen the Gwyneth Paltrow Emma version and the BBC series. Was it a series? I watched it ages ago and I love both. And I always found Emma's love interest like the most interesting of all the Jane Austen love interests. So I'm excited to see how they do it. I also really like the actor. Um, I used to listen to his music actually without knowing it was him. I mean, he was in Lovesick as well, a show I loved. That is nice. And of course, Anya Taylor-Joy, can't wait to see her. And can't wait to see the clothes on the art direction, baby. I can't wait for the set design and the clothes. Absolute highlight. I'm just gonna start, guys, I'm just gonna start. Okay, so I just had, hello, it's my hand, a throwback to a time <laughs> when I was doing a group project and a girl in the group I just met she said, you really remind me of someone. And I was like, oh, cool, who? And then she said her, but as the character Miranda in the TV show Miranda, 
and I think she's probably an amazing woman. But Miranda, mm, I don't know. Don't know if I wanted that. Actually, I'll take it as a compliment. So here's my update so far. Everything is so pretty, so pretty. My God, the father is obsessed with drafts. Very relatable, because so is my dad. Always talking about drafts. Always talking about how it's cold. The footman, very funny. Look at the footman if you can. The priest and I share ears. We both have ears that could just fly you away. I forgot how sassy and manipulative Emma is. But boy, is it fun to watch. <laughs> So there's a scene where they're all have sitting together and she's the only one talking and they're this all kind of happened. in a bad mood. She plans to say three months. And you know what? She's supposed to be this kind of annoying mad woman, but do you know how hard it is to be with a group of people when no one speaks so you have to keep the conversation going? She's doing nothing wrong. If no one's contributing to the conversation, how she, what's she supposed to do? Just sit there in silence? <laughs> we, uh, we had a plan to walk to the village, Ella. Will you join us? I would be delighted. Splendid. Brilliant indeed. This is admirable. Excellently contrived, upon my word. Nothing wanting. Oh, Miss Waterhouse. Nightly just asked Miss Smith to dance. It's so sweet. I see what she, she means. I shall try to hold my tongue. <laughs> we gather here in the sight of God to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. An honorable estate instituted by God in the time of man's great innocence. That was incredible. I love this film. Oh my god, I enjoyed it so much. I always knew I would like it because I just already enjoyed the whole look. But it was so funny. It was so much funnier than I thought it would, would be. So many subtle jokes. <laughs> For example, the fact that Emma paints and they show her paintings. And they're just very average. Very funny. Um, yeah, just... A lot of funny things, jokes in the background, I thought was really funny. And uh, the romance, Ooh, that was endearing AF. <laughs> now I'm really sad. I feel like that TikTok of that girl, I'll insert it here. <laughs> I'm so alone. <laughs> I just want to love someone. I love the friendship. As well, the friendship was so lovely between um, Harriet and Emma. And you kind of hated Emma, but you loved Emma. And you, well, you always love Emma in the end, but she's so well played. And the cinematography, whoo, that, those were some pretty shots, man. <laughs> and just the set design, holy shit. And the costumes, so beautiful. Will I watch another film? Half past 10, man. Time for bed. 
I kind of feel like I should watch something more because it's a marathon. Let me see what I can find. I got myself an orange. So the thing I kind of forgot with period dramas is that they're all two hours long. And my concentration is not that great. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try. So I've decided to watch the 2011 Jane Eyre, which obviously is based on the book <laughs> by Charlotte Bronte, which I read, uh, listened to. I listened to it as an audiobook over a few months, actually. I don't know why it took me so long, but I loved it. Very atmospheric, very dark, broody, gothic. It's gonna be a good time, y'all. I'm just gonna press play now if I wanna go to bed. I just had this memory. I actually watched this in cinema with a friend when 2011, so I was like, can't do the maths, but I was like 15, 16. And me and my friend, it was this kind of awkward teenage phase and me and my friend watched it. And then we went out of the cinema and there were this was this group of guys from our school that we never talked to because we were all too shy. And they were like, hey, and we were like, hey. And then everyone just stood there silently. And then we just said, we went to the cinema and they were like, oh, we're just going in. What did you guys see? And then we said, Jane Eyre. And they were like, never even heard of it because they were teenage boys. And then we said, okay, bye. And they said, bye. And then we never spoke again in school. <laughs> oh. And how you would leave me. Fire is a horrible death. You've saved my life. It's midnight. I still have an hour to go. <laughs> I got some cereal. Take your meds for the day. It's so it's so satisfying when you empty one of these. <laughs> I don't think that's relatable at all. <laughs> Jane Eyre. I'm enjoying it. It's it's a different mood to Emma, obviously. It's a lot more serious and dark, but um, I remember I really liked the story <laughs> and it made me realize, thank fuck, I am not a governess. Back in the day, living in a cold, huge castle with a super strange man. Also, Judy Dench is in this. Who knew? It's like one of your tricks, stealing along with the twilight. If I dare to touch you, see if you were real. I did it. Thank you for spending this Friday night with me. I highly recommend doing a period drama evening if you feel like it. Thank you for watching. Stay fresh. <laughs> that wasn't funny in any way. Okay. Goodbye.